Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous videos, we finished with our requirement. What was our requirement? Input will be order number. Output will be details of the order number. But rather than writing the logic in the program, we have written the logic in the function module. We have called the function module inside the program. Now, whenever we have a requirement to fetch data from order header and order item table, we will simply, simply call this function module. There is no need to write the logic now multiple times because we all know modularization techniques are reusable. Ultimately, we are reducing the redundancy of the code itself. Now, we will understand everything in the debugging mode so that we can understand how the data is passing to the function module, how we are getting the output from the function module and how we are displaying the output. So I will put a breakpoint on the function module. I will put a breakpoint on ninth number line. I will execute. We took the requirement that input will be single order number at a time. So I will put suppose order number one. I will execute the program. Desktop three most preferable desktop. Now I am on ninth number line. What is the input we gave? One. What is the returning internal table from the function module? LT underscore output, which has zero record and six number of columns. Because our output from the function module is a internal table of six columns. Now, currently I am inside the program. Now I want to go inside this function module. I will not do F6 because F6 is line by line execution. If you will do F6, control will come to 15th number line and this function module will execute. But now we want to go inside the function module and we want to debug the function module logic. So what we will do, I will do F5 key because what is F5? F5 is step by step execution. Now I'm doing F5. Whenever I will do F5, this order number one will pass to PONO of the function module. Here in the program, it is export. So it means in the function module, it will treat as import. I'm doing F5. Now you can see P-O-N-O. P-O-N-O is one. Our input parameter is one. Input order number value is one. Now I'm on 30th number line. On 30th number line, we are fetching data from header table based upon which input, what is the value of order number one? You all know value pass from right to left. Order number one will go to O number of header table. It will fetch data of these four column and data will come into this internal table. I will do F6 because it is one line for line by line execution. I'm doing F6. I'm doing F6. Now you can see size sub R C zero. Size sub R C zero means this first query executed successfully. If I will show you first internal table, you can see in the first internal table, one record came for what order number one and the data of how many column, four column and how many record, one record. Now, our one record is in the internal table. If we have data in the internal table, it means internal table is not initial, is not null, is not blank. So our if condition is 
true if condition is true now i will do f6 because it is one line now currently i am on 36 number line we are fetching data from item table for how many column three column but based upon what condition we are going for the data of first internal table what is the data in the first internal table? This is the entry in the first internal table. How many entries in the first internal table? One entry in the first internal table. And out of this internal table, we are referring which column of the internal table? O number column. Just check what is the value of O number column? One. So this one will go to which column O number of which table item table we all know values always pass from right to left so first internal table O number first internal table O number will pass to O number of item table it will fetch data of these three column and data will come into this internal table just see, as of now, this internal table has zero records and three columns. I will do F6. And you can see we have three records came into the internal table for order number one only. Because what is the input to fetch data from item table? Data of first internal table. What is the order number of first internal table? It is one only. So based upon that, it fetched data from item table. Now we are going for loop statement. We have put a loop on these two internal tables. And we are finally appending that data to which internal table? LT underscore final. Just see LT final has zero records and six number of columns. What is LT underscore final? It is our export. Export means output. Now we will understand this loop statements. Now, firstly, we put a loop on the first internal table. This is your first work area. This internal table has how many record? One record. It means this loop will continue how many times? One time this loop will continue. Now from the internal table, first record will go to work area. Just see work area is blank as of now. Whenever I will do F6, you can see first record from the internal table went to work area. First record from the internal table went to work area. What is first work area order number? One, but is first work area order number one. Now I am on which particular line? 45 number line. This is our second internal table. Second internal table has how many record? Three records. It means this inner loop, the second loop will continue how many times? Three times. Now just see what is the where condition. Where O number is equal to first work area O number. What is first work area O number? It is one. Now, in this internal table, in this internal table, what is the where condition? What is the where condition? Where O number is equal to one. Just, just see, for the first record order number is one. Yes, for the first record order number is one. Now, whenever this where order number is equal to one. Yes, for the first record, our condition is true. Our condition is true. It means this first record from the internal table will go to which work area? Second work area. Just see, as of now, work area is blank. Whenever this condition will be true, now first record from the internal table. This first record from the internal table went to which work area? LWA data one. 
you can see order number one, item number 10. This is first record of the internal table. Now, our data of four column is in first work area, data of two columns in second work area. Now we are passing to final work area. Just see LWA final as of now. It is blank. I am doing F6, order number. I am doing F6, order date. I am doing F6, payment mode. I am doing F6, currency. I am doing F6, order item number. I am doing F6, order item cost. You can see these all lines of code executed. Yes, and first record we pass to what work area LWA final. How this record will go to internal table through which statement append statement. Just see as of now internal table is blank. It is zero record. Now whenever append will execute. Now we have first record in the internal table. You can see first record is in the internal table. And how many columns? Six columns, six column data. These four are from header. These two are from item. Now we are clearing the work area. Just see, as of now, work area has the first record. Whenever clear will execute, you can see everything is blank. Always make a practice that you will clear the work area. Now, inner loop continued for the first record but inner loop has how many record three records so now loop will come to second iteration second iteration now what is the where condition same to same where condition order number is one now just see for the second record is order number is one yes order number is one now whenever i will do f6 you can see side tabix is also two because for this inner loop, which record is going on? Second record is going on. And we put so much stress previously. Side tabix always, always return the current record, current index of the record, which is going inside the loop. As of now, which record is going on? Second record is going on. Now from the internal table, Second record will go to work area. You can see the work area. Order number one. Now the item number is 20. Now we are passing everything to final work area. Now we have the second record is in final work area. Just see we have second record is in the final work area. We are passing it to internal table. We are clearing the work area. Now you can see we have final internal table has how many records now? Second record. Now loop will come for the third iteration. Now for the third record also, the order number is what? One, because our where condition is same. Now condition is true. And you can see side tabix is three now because we are reading the third record of the internal table. Now third record from the internal table went to work area. You can see what is the work area. Now we have order number one and item number 30. Now we will are passing it to final work area. From the final work area, we will pass it to final internal table. Now append will execute and you can see we have three records in the final internal table. Now I will do F6. We are clearing the work area. Now inner loop done because all three record processed. Now outer loop, outer loop has only one record which is processed successfully. Now our output is in which internal table LT underscore final and what is LT underscore final LT underscore final is export export means output. Now LT underscore final is export in the function module. It means in the program it will treat as import. So LT final will return the output to what LT underscore output. And you can see 
we have three records in the LT underscore output. Now we are putting a loop on the internal table. This loop will continue three times. One by one, we will pass the record to work area and we will display the records one by one. So this is first iteration. Just see site tab X is one. This is now second iteration. You can see site tab X is two. Now we will have the third iteration, site tab X is three. And now we have the output. You can see we have written everything in the function module. We are just calling the function module inside a program and we are displaying the output. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we fully understand how we are getting the output in the debugging mode. In the next video, rather than single value of order number, now we will come on to multiple values of order number. That part we will cover in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.